from raging wildfires, high-rise rescues and terrorist attacks. London's fire brigade is on the front line of disasters. But according to a watchdog's report, it needs to improve. And we're pretty disappointed that uh, we've ended up judging the brigade as requiring improvement across the board. Uh, so in every aspect we've looked at, they're not reaching the standard we'd hoped for. The headline for this report, the brigade requires improvement from keeping people safe from fire, responding to terrorist incidents, to promoting diversity and fairness. So what does the London Fire Brigade have to say? Well, obviously I'm, I'm disappointed that the the London Fire Brigade needs improvement across a wide range of areas, but I welcome the report because this is stuff that we knew about ourselves that we had explained to the inspectors. Do you think Londoners should feel unsafe with the Fire Brigade? No, and I think the report quite rightly recognises that we provide a very good response service. You've only got to look at last week, the courage, the bravery of firefighters, what they achieved. But from the Fire Brigade's union, a sense of we told you so. I think that firefighters will be frustrated and angered because a lot of the points raised have been raised by us in the past so the brigade will be fully aware of it. And is it just the fire brigade's problem? No, I wouldn't say the fire brigade's entirely responsible. If you want meaningful improvements it does require central government funding. There was some good news in this report. The London Fire Brigade's response times to 999 calls is the second fastest in the country. The reality is that big organisations take time to change. We focus very heavily on the Grenfell Tower inquiry recommendations, which was extremely important. Now we need to turn our energy and our endeavour to these recommendations, which are equally important. The commissioner added a promise that the brigade will have improved by the time of the next inspection in two years' time. Rags Martel, ITV News.